Which one of the following is most analogous to the kind of approach both authors criticize? Okay, an analogy question. In order to get this right, we really need to nail down in our head, like, what is the approach that both authors criticize? You know, the approach that both authors criticize is cosmic justice. So we really should make sure that we understand what we mean when we say cosmic justice. Passage A and passage B discussed this justice that they are criticizing as being the kind of justice that tries to have us be omniscient, has, has a judge and a jury have to take in every factor, all the inputs before a crime was committed in order to consider what the punishment should be. So the approach that both authors criticize is one that can, that attempts to be omniscient and attempts to do deal with individual factors that might be, you know, unique to the story of, of a criminal. So, so that's what we're looking for in the choices. It's really important on questions like this to get a sense and lock down in your head what you're looking for. The, the kind of approach is this cosmic justice approach. So let's see what we have with choice A. A local library charges children for lower fines for overdue materials and lost books than it charges adults. So that's, that's children versus adults having you know, different rules. The approach that we're looking to criticize is one that attempts to implement cosmic justice. B. In assigning grades, a teacher takes into account not only written assignments in class performance, but also background factors unique to individual students. So background factors, that sounds a lot like that sounds a lot like what we're talking about. It's a lot like the example that Thomas Sowell uses in passage B. I really like choice B. Let's see where their C, D, and E sort of disqualify themselves for their own reasons. C. In assigning employee parking spaces, management takes into account an employee's rank within and years of experience to the company. So that's, you know, that's sort of like a seniority thing. So, you know, is seniority a problem here? Is that cosmic justice? Uh, no, it seems to you know, it, it's taking into account something, but that doesn't make this relevant to the um, to what we're looking for. C is out. Again, we're looking for cosmic justice. D. An employer with a proven history of age discrimination is forced by a court to hire qualified older employees. That might you know seem fair, but is that an example of cosmic justice? No, it is not. E. A university admits students based not just on academic achievement, but also on documented extracurricular activities and community service. Okay, documented is pretty pretty key here. You know, documented extracurricular activities and community service are very specific things that are knowable. Um, and the, the approach that's being critiqued or criticized by passage A and passage B are all those things that are that are unknowable. So I don't like E either. And B really comes out shining. It is exactly what we're looking for. This would, you know, the approach is described here is saying, I'm going to give you a grade based on stuff that you didn't do in class. In the same way that cosmic justice would say, we're going to sentence you or convict you or acquit you based on stuff that is not related to the grade itself, to the crime itself. So B is definitely looking really good.